While simulation models are an essential part of power system studies, you need more computational capability than the simulation model alone. Let me give you a couple of examples. Recent years have seen a dramatic increase in measurement technology on electric grid, so-called synchrophaser technology, phaser measurement units, which are now giving precise measured data across wide areas of the electric grid. So how does that come into power system studies? Well, you can replay that data through your simulation model. And that's particularly important if you have simulation models which are not capturing observed dynamic response. So you can use that playback in order to tune the models and get closer to reality. You can also use Monte Carlo techniques to run thousands, tens of thousands, or hundreds of thousands of scenarios. Why is that needed? Well, quite simply, it's variable energy, solar and wind. Because of the variable nature, you need to understand the risk of the operation of that equipment on your grid. You therefore need to do thousands of simulations to gain a statistical significance. And the final part is reporting. Reporting is a big time sink for many engineers. And to be able to automate the reporting of your power system study is a huge value add. Now, when you look at each of these aspects, we offer capabilities that provide you with an ecosystem that provides value in each of those different stages. And what that gives you is an added level of confidence that the outcome of that study and the decisions that you are making based on that are as good as they can be.